Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry for the jump scare. I don't know where my little like hair clips are that I would usually use to pin my hair back. Can't seem to find them anywhere, so we're using these really big obnoxious ones today. My hair's looking a little bit crazy because I'm actually shooting content today. So yeah, we went with curling the hair, but today's also a very exciting day because my replacement mirror is actually coming and I'm so excited for it to arrive. I also ordered an extra mirror for the spare bedroom as well because the mirror, like the cupboard doors are mirrored, but they're opposite the window. So the lighting just isn't good for like selfies or anything like that. So I've ordered another mirror for in there as well. So that should be coming really soon. I'll show you guys when it arrives, but I actually forgot to tan last night. So we're going to tan together because I need to let my tan marinate before I get my content. And then I'm also going to do my makeup. Obviously, I haven't done my makeup yet. And I realized I haven't filmed a like get ready with me in the longest time or an updated makeup routine. And a few of you have been asking for one, so I thought we would just get ready together. Outer Spot also sent me their new ultimate tanning mousse, which is really exciting because it's meant to be even darker than their express tanning mousse. Which I don't know how it's possible because their usual mousses are already so dark, so I'm excited to try it. We'll do a first impressions together in celebration of their first birthday, which is exciting. So it comes with the ultimate mousse and then also this really cute little onesie, which is Loki. It's such a sleigh and so hot to just wear around the house. This is a little bundle. It is so cute. So it comes in this plastic bag as well, which is so handy for transporting your tanning stuff because... You guys know if you travel with tan, it's like you don't know which way it's going to go. It's a 50-50 chance of it ruining all of your stuff. So the fact it is plastic is perfect. And then in here we just have the ultimate tanning mousse. Ultra dark. I'm so excited to see how this goes on, you guys. Like a little bit nervous actually because I feel like it's going to be super dark. Also have a little tanning mitt. And then this is a little onesie and it is so cute red and i'm obsessed so you can like wear this while you have your tan marinating so let's try this on oh my god you guys they were not playing with this formula look at that what i'm trying like not to get it on my underwear while i show you guys this but obviously i will Take it off after. I have never put a tan this dark on my body. I'm a little bit shook. Like, look how dark my leg is, you guys, compared to my face. I'm really excited to see how it develops and progresses. And then, obviously, I'll show you guys once it washes off. But the formula is so nice. I'm sure you guys could even sort of tell when I was applying it. Like, I feel like you could sort of see in the video. It is just really hydrating. It doesn't look super dry. It, like, goes on really nice and, like, glossy almost. Um, and yeah, it's really quick drying as well, which is amazing. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. But yeah, at the moment, it's so dark. Usually I would put tan on if I am shooting that day because it is really fast drying. So I don't really worry about it going on the clothes or anything because it doesn't transfer. But this is way too dark. So I'm definitely going to have to wash it off after I've done my makeup, I think. Um, and yeah, I'm going to sleep with this one overnight, but I'm just going to leave it on for a couple hours and then wash it off. So I'll show you guys how it looks after a few hours anyway. And then obviously if you had it on for the full six hours or overnight, then it would go even darker. But so far, crazy good. And how cute is this onesie, by the way? I'm so obsessed in the red. It's literally the perfect shade of red so if you guys do want to shop baddest bod i will leave my discount code written on the screen for you it's just ali and i'll also leave it in the description bar for you and i'll link the website too i think i'm just going to film me doing my makeup and then put music over the top because i am in a rush and also i feel like i'll just talk for too long if i'm talking through all the products so i'll just list them all down below for you guys i got this fenty beauty foundation from obviously fenty beauty as pr and they sent me literally the perfect shade and i'm obsessed with it i've been reaching for this one way more than my charlotte tilbury which is the one that i was using it is the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation in 280 and it is so good it is a full coverage matte foundation so if you don't like full coverage or matte foundation then this isn't for you but i love it it just paints onto my skin so nicely and the shade is perfect i personally prefer a lighter foundation over a darker foundation
makeup done except for I did just realize that I forgot a step. I also just do a little bit of shadow on my bottom lash line as well. I just got back from getting content and it's literally so windy today, you guys. I don't even know how I managed to make these photos work. I had planned on getting a few more photos um, in different outfits, but my hair has dropped so much from being out in the wind. So at least I managed to get a couple. These are kind of cute though. I managed to make the wind work surprisingly. Like these are cute. Sort of just utilize the wind as a paid actor for these. Um, but yeah, the other photos are a flop. So at least I've got something. Something's better than nothing. The mirror's just arrived. That one isn't going there. It's going in the spare bedroom, but this one is going here. So I'm just going to unbox them now, actually. Rumi's just investigating. <laughs> Use the mess. I also need to clean this mirror. I just tried using Ajax. Apparently, I'm out of my window cleaner. I didn't even realize, or like glass cleaner or whatever. I can't find it anywhere. I didn't think we'd run out because usually I'm pretty on top of that stuff, but we must have. And I tried using Ajax, and I just made it dirtier. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's like smears everywhere. But this is the smaller arched mirror that we got, and it's so cute. I'm actually obsessed with the shape. I didn't think I would like an arched mirror in our apartment but it's actually really cute i'm a little bit bummed about it though because i got this in the smaller size and if i'd known i liked the arch shape they actually do a really giant arched one and i could have got that instead of the rectangle replacement which could have been fun but i just didn't think i would like it so obviously i just went with what we already had which is this big beautiful um square sorry not square rectangle square edged mirror it's like two meters by a meter i think it's literally so affordable as well um for a bigger mirror and i love it in the black trim they also have it with a white trim and i think maybe a gold trim as well so depending on your apartment or home aesthetic you can sort of switch it up i got both of these mirrors from james lane um i have quite a few of their pieces actually or i have had over the years so i will link them down below for you guys in case you are interested in shopping either of them this is how the mirror is looking in the spare bedroom it looks so good there was obviously nothing against this wall before so i feel like it just looks really nice and complete in here now i honestly love this room so much it's so calming in here i love coming and reading in here i think the really like big windows are what makes it for sure and you can sort of still see the ocean it's nothing <laughs> compared to our old views but you can definitely still see it and you can still see like the beautiful sunrises in the morning. I'm just having my greens drink while I edit some content. I have a heap of stuff due today actually, so I need to get it all edited so I can send it across for approval. This is actually the new Naked Harvest Greens powder and I'm obsessed with it, you guys. It is so good. It's a new formula, so it doesn't taste as much like a greens powder. Not that the other one really did, but this one definitely doesn't. It's super sweet and just really easy to drink. Literally just tastes like a fresh juice and it's in pineapple flavor. It is so good. I've had it every single day since I got it. It's amazing. You guys already know I'm obsessed with New Balance sneakers. I think I'm single-handedly making them go out of style. I was actually doing some online shopping during the after payday sales. And I came across these and they were 20% off. Obviously, I had to get my hands on them. They're just the 530 style, which is my favorite style of the New Balance. It's the same style that my navy ones and also my gray ones are in. Usually, I wouldn't do a black sneaker really, but I really needed a new pair for winter because my last black pair have done their dash so usually i'd go for like a slimmer fit when it comes to working out to pair with my active wear but we'll see how these go i'm sure they'll look fine on and i love them in just yeah the black and white and yeah i like my other ones of this style so i'll have to yeah try them on with my active wear and see how they look this in here is a dress i got just for europe summer actually so hopefully it looks good it looks quite cute though so it's just this little like 
not like crochet, but like woven number. I'll have to try it on for you guys, but basically it's like a little like boob tube and then you tie it at the back and then the front um, just connects with this. It's just like a little mini dress and then it has an open back, which is super cute. This is what the dress looks like on and I also want to show you guys this tan. It looks so, so good. It's really nice and bronzy. Um, but yeah, how cute is this little dress? Like the front has the cutouts and then the back has... Like the tie at the back i just think it's so cute um but yeah i'm obsessed with this color you guys look how nice it is the formula is so good i just heated up some leftovers for dinner i made this for my dinners this week because my girlfriend stayed over on the weekend and she made this for us and it is so good you guys it's so quick and easy to make as well you definitely have to try making it i actually saw she just posted a tiktok making it so i'll link it down below but if you guys would like me to film it um, for YouTube as well. Let me know as well in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's literally so quick and easy. So good for you. No nasties in here. It's just broccoli, organic beef mince, tomato paste, coconut milk, salt and pepper, obviously the pasta as well. Oh, chili flakes. Do not forget the chili flakes because that is literally what makes it. Um, this pasta is just some gluten-free pasta I had left over in my cupboard, but she actually made it with chickpea pasta and it was so much better. Um, well, not like so much better, but it was really yum. So I would recommend doing that. I just forgot to get chickpea pasta when I was getting all the ingredients for it. And I did also add some onion and mushrooms to mine, but that's just because I had them in the fridge that I needed to use up and I didn't want them to go to waste, obviously. But yeah, super quick and easy to make. And it's so delicious. It tastes cheesy for some reason, even though there's literally no cheese or dairy in it as well. I don't know how that's happened, but it is so good. I just put my hair up in a scrunchie. This is my like really huge scrunchie it's the only one that holds all my hair up high when i have extensions in <laughs> miley's getting ready for bed he gets himself all comfy nestled in um and i literally look like a little cheerleader but yeah i want to show you guys my pajamas i debuted them on tiktok they are so cute they were sold out when i wanted them and then they finally restocked like a select few and i got my hands on them and they're just so adorable i'm obsessed you guys know I have an obsession with pajamas and these ones are so cute i also got some really cute ones from target of all places they only had them in a size medium they're like this heather gray like almost like skims vibes but the colors better than the skims because i got the skims gray ones but the ones i got from target are literally perfect but they only had them in a size medium and i was like It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't mind things a little bit baggy. They were literally falling off my hips. So I actually got them altered, which cost me more than the pajamas themselves. But it was worth it because they're literally so comfy and I'm obsessed with them. I'll have to show you guys them at some point. Um, they're actually in the wash at the moment. But they're, yeah, they're so good. Don't sleep on Target pajamas. Okay? They were fully sold out in every other size. So some of you have to have them. <laughs> updated you guys much throughout today i haven't really reached for my camera um but i've just been getting a heap of errands done i've just finally chilled out um i went and got my hair washed and blow dried just got it nice and straight it looks so good i'm definitely going to well i haven't told you guys yet but i'm going to work towards doing a little bit more of a lived in blonde which i know probably maybe won't happen i don't know i'm gonna see how i go but like the last time i got my head on for example i just got a quarter head of foils instead of half a head or a full head and then i'm gonna get another quarter head before i go to coachella and then i'm thinking 
while I'm back because once I get back from Coachella, I literally have 12 weeks before I leave for Europe, which is so exciting. But I just want to see if I can get my hair, like my natural hair, a little bit thicker and healthier. It's really thick, actually. I don't really need to worry about that too much, but just get the length a little bit longer because at the moment it's at a really awkward length. It's like not short, but it's not long. So if I can get it a bit longer before I go to Europe, that'd be amazing because I don't want to have my extensions in while I'm in Europe because I just want to be enjoying myself, swimming, doing all the things. So ideally I don't want to have extensions in. So that would be so good if we can work towards that. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I go, but yeah, it's looking pretty good at the moment my um natural hair is actually so thick which is amazing and it's way longer than i expected it to be after having extensions too so i'm very happy about that um but what else did i do today oh i just did my chores the apartment's like generally clean always but i just had to do my daily daily chores so that's just for me i do the empty the dishwasher um, the washing and then I also vacuumed the floors. I also did wipe down all of the mirrors as well and like all the surfaces and stuff So I'm glad that's all done, but I need to do a deep clean really soon of the apartment I think just because we've been here for three months now Yeah Three months. Yeah, so I feel like every like quarter It's good to do a little bit of a deeper clean um, so yeah, I'll have to do that maybe next weekend or something so i'm excited about that once i'm in like the right zone for cleaning love it you have the right music playing honestly i find cleaning so therapeutic it's probably one of the favorite parts of my day so that is good and then i just had to get some work done nothing too exciting it's honestly the crappiest weather right now it actually started off a really nice morning and then it's just turned for the worst so it's a little bit trash right now it looks like it's actually about to storm um but i just did my makeup and got ready because jake and i have date night tonight so we're going to a restaurant I actually have been meaning to go to since we moved here literally since i moved here everyone's told me to go and we haven't been so i finally booked it and we're going tonight so i'll let you guys know how it goes it's like got curries and dumplings and um all that sort of stuff so it's right up my alley i'm very excited to go it's called mama sun if you guys have been and you're from the gold coast you probably really love it and if you haven't been i will let you know how it goes i'm really trying to make an effort with um like dates and stuff to book places that we have like said we were going to go to and then haven't been to because otherwise we just end up going to the same like favorite spots so even though there's so many amazing places here so i'm really trying to make an effort to do that i feel like it's like every second sort of time but yeah i'm really keen for that and i also forgot to show you guys yesterday but my coachella like this huge box of stuff for coachella arrived late yesterday afternoon it's literally seven and a half kilos and there's 34 items in there with all of my clothing and accessories from white fox um for coachella which is literally in two weeks so crazy so I can't wait. I'm actually so excited to go. I can't believe it's literally around the corner. So yeah, I'm going to, I won't do it now, but I really need to try on all my outfits and see what I'm actually going to wear because they just sent, um, like they sent a heap of outfits, but I'm obviously not going to wear them all. They just sent a heap so I could try everything on and see what I want to wear. So it's very exciting. It's all happening. New mirror things. This is what I'm currently wearing. It's just like these like cargoes and this white crop but i think well i was going to wear like a dressy sort of dress and my like either heels or my or my slides but the weather's just really not doing it for me today i feel like as soon as the weather goes bad i just can't be bothered to put in the effort like i just want to wear comfy clothes and that's where we're at right now um, unless it's like winter and it's really cold and I can dress up with boots or like a blazer or something then that's fun but when the weather's still hot outside but it's just like not sunny I'm just like just want to go super casual so I'll let you guys know if I get changed or not this is the box of stuff though you guys I'm not sure if you can tell how big it is but it's literally huge sorry I'm just covering my address but look there's literally 34 items in there 
and it's seven and a half kilos. I did it, I couldn't hold it in any longer. I had to take everything out of the box and this has made it all feel so real. The fact we're literally going in just over two weeks and also just such a pinch me moment that I'm going with so many of my best friends and also with one of my all time favorite brands. You guys know I'm a diehard white fox girly and I'm just obsessed with their clothing. So I literally just can't believe I get to go with white fox. I also love the team as well. So it's just so exciting, just such a pinch me moment. I honestly can't wait to go and I'm so excited to wear these fits I don't know what I'm gonna wear out of all of this it's all so amazing I'm gonna have to try everything on um, I'm so excited to try everything on though like I just love trying outfits on and seeing how it all looks so I think I'm actually gonna do that now I've got some spare time I may as well try a few things on I literally just can't wait to do that but yeah guys I go so soon how exciting if you do need any outfits whether it's festival or um, just, you know, whatever from White Fox. You can also use my code AliXO and that'll save you 15% off, but I'm so excited. I did also get a heap of accessories as well. I always forget that White Fox even have accessories. I'm always so focused on their clothing because I always have so much good stuff. Um, but they also have a heap of like these like body chains, which are really fun, necklaces, this little ring set, which is super cute. Also have this little like bracelet set, sunnies. They were also sold out of majority of their bags. So I just got this one, but I'm hoping they restock before we go because they have some really cute bags that will match my outfits. I'm just staying in the outfit I had on because we're going with comfort tonight. And we're going with comfort. We're going with comfort. Are you feeling the comfort vibes? Very comfy. You're excited for dinner? I'm so excited. I'm actually starving. I'm so hungry. Um, but yeah, this is the full fit. We finally have a selfie mirror again. It's so fun. Let's go. This is where you stand all day. Yeah. Did you tell them that? <laughs> started raining so there's rain all on the windshield but did you like dinner 10 out of 10 oh my god so right it was so good you guys definitely met all my expectations yeah so and i Easy. feel like it's always risky business when you like the bar is set really high like people have really recommended it so you're like you have high expectations and then if it's not what you expected you're just like yeah let no, down it definitely met them it was sure. so good 10 From out of 10 10 out of 10. What did we end like up that, getting? We got the... What was the spa uh, No. <laughs> crab or prawn <laughs> dumpling or something? Spanner dumpling. No, we got yeah. spanner crab, bow buns, prawn dumplings or something like that. I can't remember. But they were both so good. And then we also got... If you saw... Um, the red curry. What was the meat on the bow bun? <laughs> that was the soft shell crab. I if think. you saw soft shell crab, jalapeno and tartare... Bow bun, you wouldn't usually go for it, but yeah, this the, time we the did the jalapeno kind of throws it, okay. But we love all off. of those things, like we love crab, we love yeah. um, tartar, and we love jalapenos. It was so delicious, you guys. If you live in the Gold Coast, make sure you go. Definitely lived up to all expectations, and it was actually a 10 out of 10 meal. So we ended up getting, yeah, the bow buns, the dumplings, the red curry, um, 12 hour braised beef, and then the fried rice. So you could definitely just go with a normal rice, not fried rice, and then that would be so. like a perfect amount, because Jake I, was super personally, full. I think the fried rice was like, a bit unnecessary. too many flavors with the curry. Yeah, say. like you can just have jasmine rice with your curry, and For I feel sure. like that's all you need. So that's our recommendation. I'm gonna sign off this vlog now, you guys. Jake and I are gonna go home to our little doggies. Maybe watch a movie or something, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.